St. Paul's, Andrew here. In this mini series about who we really are, we thought it would be only honest and transparent to let you know about leadership here and in specific who the leadership team is. So the elders are going to introduce themselves. It's super fun. In our church, the leaders are called elders. That's it's really unsexy, but that's what presbyter means in Greek is, is rule by elder. And when the elders all get together, they're called the session. See, they meet and they talk. Usually it's monthly. Lately, it's been a little bit more. And it's the elders' responsibility to ensure that what gets taught in small groups, what gets taught in kids' zone and in a youth group, that those things are really pointing us towards Jesus. It's the elders' responsibility to make sure that the congregation is cared for and loved and has opportunity to connect with each other. It's the elders' responsibility to make sure that uh, the good news, the hope that Jesus has given us doesn't stay inside these walls, but spreads out into our communities and spreads out to our world. It's the elders' job to do all of this. They also have this assignment of uh, getting away and thinking and praying and making sure that we as a congregation stay in line with what we call, we feel called by Jesus to do. They do that, and then they also are the ones who are responsible to pull together the financial budget so that all of our, our funds and our money are pointed in that direction. Elders in this congregation uh, are voted in every two years, and this, Lord willing, is a year where we'll add elders to our number. And when you're assigned, when you're ordained as an elder, you serve typically for, for six years. I'm actually also an elder, but I'm a different kind than all the other ones. Every other elder at St. Paul's right now is a ruling elder, and I'm a teaching elder. I'm actually, my official title is the Minister of Word and Sacraments. So what that means is that I'm responsible to make sure that what gets taught on Sunday mornings, and I guess as well in Bible studies, that, that there's the Word is being correctly taught, accurately used, and also that the the sacraments for Presbyterian, Presbyterians, that's uh, communion and baptism, that those are administered, those are celebrated in a way that Jesus intended for them to be used. The other thing that makes me just a little bit weirder than the other elders is I don't rotate off every six years. I stay put. So I apologize for any disappointment that that might bring you. Hey, listen, here's the team. Let them introduce themselves to you. Hello, St. Paul's family. My name is Duncan Hunter. My wife Carrie and I and our three boys have been a part of the St. Paul's family for the past 15 years. Um, we are grateful for this community. We are grateful for all of you, that there are others tracking with us, challenging us and encouraging us as we try to figure out what it means to live a life fully surrendered to Jesus. For the past six years, we have been serving on session as ruling elders. Carrie is clerk of session, and currently I am serving as a liaison to the care and compassion teams here at St. Paul's. Carrie isn't here with me today, uh, but as we enter into 2021, we are both feeling called to carve out more time and space in our lives so that we can learn to walk daily in a more intimate way with Jesus. And we are glad to be in this with all of you together. Thanks. Hi, I'm Phil Carmichael. My wife Sue and I have two beautiful daughters and they're married to two great husbands. We also have two wonderful grandsons. Now this has been a difficult season for me as my wife Sue passed away in September after a long battle with cancer. Now being part of uh, St. Paul's has been a huge blessing from God for both me and my family. I'm now in my third year as an elder at St. Paul's and last year I volunteered to be uh, the member, the Presbytery rep member for St. Paul's, which means I get to go with Andrew once a month uh, down to one of the churches uh, that's holding the meetings. Now, last year, I actually only went to one of those meetings as uh, the pandemic hit. So just like everything else, we are now meeting via Zoom. Now, I'm also part of the Congregation Renewal Committee at the Presbytery level, which basically means that we meet with churches that are struggling and we give them some guidance uh, to help them through this, and especially during this pandemic time. I, I believe we have a great team of elders and leaders at St. Paul's, and I'm really blessed and honored to be part of that team. Thank you, St. Paul's, for trusting in me. Good to have you join us. I'm Brian McTavish, one of the elders on the leadership team at St. Paul's. My wife, Diane, and I enjoy the adventure of our four children and their growing families. 
I've transitioned from outdoor education to paddle sport sales. But on session, I'm the small group liaison and part of the team encouraging our small group leaders. Spoiler alert, there's some great stuff that's happening in our small groups. So fill in a connect form online and join one of our small groups. Zoom for now and share in honest questions, discussions, struggles, and celebrations. Become a part of a group of people who will soon feel like family. We're just ordinary people connecting. But as Andrew said, God comes alongside all of us and makes the difference that brings him praise, glory, and honor in the places where we are. It's all Jesus. Hey, St. Paul's, I'm Mark Emery. My wife, Jennifer, and I met in these halls many years ago. Today, we live in Uxbridge with our son, Nolan. I head the landscape division for a small construction company in Woodville. I've been part of St. Paul's session since 2014. I currently represent the session on the finance committee. The finance committee provides the first level of discernment into the financial strategies and budget here at St. Paul's. It's my prayer that you will join us in becoming fully alive in Jesus. Hi friends, uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Doug Sansom and um, I've been attending this church for over 20 years with my wife Bonnie. I've been an elder here for uh, I think almost going on two years now. I want to just take this uh, opportunity to put a plug in for the Serenity Group. It's a small group that meets every Thursday night at 8 o'clock here, here at the church. Um, it's been a little bit, uh, I think, misunderstood over the years. Um, we've been going now for 15 years plus. And I think most people think you have to be a, you know, a raging alcoholic or a drug addict to come to Serenity. But actually, um, the Apostle Paul said in uh, Romans that um, he made this comment, uh, what I want to do, I don't do, and what I hate to do, I do. And uh, so I don't think he was an alcoholic. I just think he was, uh, you know, a sinner. And um, if he were attending St. Paul's, he would, uh, he'd be qualified to come to Serenity. So if you find yourself on that hamster wheel where you just keep doing uh, the things you don't want to do and you don't quite do the things you want to do, then come and see us. We meet every Thursday at uh, 8 o'clock here at St. Paul's. We would love to see you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Rebecca Mustard. I'm married to Craig and we have our son Caleb who is three years old. The Mustard family has been coming to St. Paul's for generations and I've been here for about 14 years. My first, day, first Sunday here was pretty memorable. It was the day that we walked as a church family from the old church up to this new building. In my day job, I'm the manager of economic development at a local municipality. And on session, I'm one of the ruling elders. I've just joined the personnel committee as a liaison to session, and that committee cares for and manages church staff. And one of my roles is bringing recommendations from that committee to session for decision making. In my time here at St. Paul's, I've seen God working and I'm praying along with you that we will continue to be a church that is prayerful, all in, authentic and Christ centered.